This is Gordon Pepper, and I'm here with Mark Colinari Jr. over at Park at Kings. Mark, first of all, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm okay. Now, I saw that you just recently celebrated a birthday, I believe. Uh, it's coming up, actually, the 18th. Oh, it's coming up. Yeah. Coming up. So, but you mentioned something that I really want to touch about, because here in the UBA, we're a family, regardless of how we bowl, and all the trash talking that's there, that's all in fun. For the most part, we're a family. Uh, you recently opened up and touched on something that I really want to discuss, if you're okay with it. Yeah. So, talk to me about the... Uh, you put up a post on Facebook talking about your birthday and then talking about something else that sort of blew me away and I think blew a lot of other people away because uh, you are a very well-known and popular bowler in the UBA, especially at Jersey Lanes, especially on Action Thursday nights and when you do all that stuff, but there's a different persona that came out that absolutely blew me out of the water and floor is yours. So uh, most people know about uh, the tattoo that I have on my wrist here, it's a semicolon. Um, what it stands for in terms of literature is uh, you put it at the end of a sentence um, rather than a period because you can uh, control whether the sentence ends or goes on. Um, in terms of a tattoo, it's for those um, that have had suicidal thoughts or uh, things of that nature. They chose to, to let their life go on um, rather than end it. Um, and at one point in my life, I actually almost tried to end my life. I did. Um, and it didn't work. Uh, and from that day, uh, I worked on getting better. Um, and every day has been a stepping stone to where I am today. I'm not going to go into the details of what you did, but was there point where you're just like all right that's it done or was it more of and it just didn't work or was it more of I'm in the middle of it nah maybe I'm changing my mind no I was I had my mindset um at the time I knew what I wanted to do I had it I I planned it for a while it's not something that you can just kind of sit down and tell yourself I'm going to do it today It, it took it took a lot of courage to get to that point um if suicide's not courageous but um, to be able to build yourself up to get to that point is, uh, it takes a lot. Uh, and it came to that time where I felt I was ready, um, and I was there, I was doing it, and it just failed. After it failed, now let me ask you this question. When it failed, was it something that you yourself just said okay, or was it something that was caught in an intervention and other people knew about it? Um... Nobody else really knew. Some people knew I was struggling, but nobody else really knew the, to the point. Um, and when it failed, the initial response from myself was, wow, like everything's going awful. I can't even do that right. But um, it was that when it didn't work, I kind of had the revelation that maybe there's a reason it didn't work and that it was time to get help. And I started to go, go to therapy right after, uh, the day after, actually, I started seeking therapy. Now, how has bowling affected this in one way, either positive or negative? Oh man, uh, so bowl, bowling's a big part of my life. My, um, my friends and family know that. I bowl as many days of the week as I possibly can. It's not just because uh, I'm trying to make money or whatever. I genuinely love bowling and uh, it, it brings me a lot of joy. Um, when I was going through a lot of stuff, um, bowling's the one thing that was constant that I could go and have a good time. Um, and it's remained constant for my whole life. Uh, I've met some great people through bowling. I've met my best friends through bowling. Um, and even if at some day I'm not able to bowl, I'm still going to be in a bowling alley some way. But uh, bowling is a huge, uh, huge part of my mental health. Um, mm-hmm. If I bowl well, it helps. It makes me feel good. If I bowl bad, it makes me feel a little, little down. But um, bowling and my mental health are, are very closely related. I know for me when. There's a league night on, like, I run stuff Tuesday through Thursday. I'm in an alley almost all the time. Um, I do a lot of high stressful work for me. And for me, going to a bowling alley is just a mental relaxation. I get to escape. I get to not deal with things. Yep. Um, so what is it like for you to walk into a bowling alley? Because I know for me, it's like, thank God I'm in an alley. I can, all the other whatever that I'm dealing with, out there now I'm actually here in an element I get to hang out with friends even if I have a fight with friends or deal with things this is still my sanctuary it's my place at the end of the day um, I'm still enjoying myself what does that mean to you um, a bowling alley no matter what bowling alley especially especially Linden Lanes it's it's my safe space you know um, I can be unsure of myself and unsure of my abilities 
in any other aspect, but as soon as I walk into a bowling alley, I know what I'm capable of, I know what I could do, and I know how people see me. How helpful has bowling been, not just from a mental standpoint, from that, but from a social standpoint? Because when I started bowling, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to get into a bowling alley is that I wanted to meet people. I yeah. did not want to be at my house 24 hours a day. So, like, going to parties has never really been my thing. Um, I've always kind of been an introvert, uh, spent most of my middle school and high school life by myself in my room on the computer and at that like up until then like my best friends were people that I had never met that were on the computer. Um, the bowling alley has been a great social environment for me because like I said I've made some of my best friends but I get to interact with so many different people and even if I don't personally know them they come up to me and be like hey I saw you on Facebook, hey I saw you on Dougie Vision, um, good bowling, everything like that. It's, it's nice to be able to interact with different people that you wouldn't necessarily always be able to talk to because you come together to do the same thing and whether we have a lot of stuff in common or not we have bowling in common. Mm -hmm. So let's just say that somebody's watching this and there's somebody that's struggling in terms of dealing with things either they have mental issues something hasn't gone right you've been there what is your message? Um, it's not easy to ask people for help. It's not easy to admit to yourself that you need help. Um, if you're in a bad spot, it can seem like it's never going to get better. It can seem like it's always dark. Um, it can seem like just everything's against you, you know? But at that time, you don't see that there's a bright light at the end of the tunnel, that there's things to be happy for. Because in my personal experience, I didn't feel that... I had any worth here, um, I didn't enjoy how any aspect of my life was going, um, and I, I wasn't having fun just being alive. Um, and I can look back on it now, I would have missed out on so many great things that I've accomplished and that I still have to accomplish. Um, I still have so many things to experience and I've experienced great things so far. Um, it does get better, even if you don't think that it is going quick enough or you're not seeing the right things. Um, the situation improves and there is something to strive for because you are great, you mean something to somebody, and even if I don't know you, you mean something to me. Wow. That's deep and thoughtful. Um, you said anything that I possibly could have added to that, which is nothing. Uh, last question, any shout outs, anything that you want to say? Uh, I, just want, yours. I just want to thank um, a lot of my friends, um, Skylar Parrish, he's been a, a great friend of mine for a long time, uh, was the manager at Linden Lanes and saw me spend a lot of, uh, a lot of time there, you know. Um, my best friend, Mike Griffin, uh, we've been friends since high school uh, and he's been the one, honestly the only person from high school that I, I still talk to. We didn't go to the same school but we met because we, we bowled against each other and we've been best friends for over 10 years. I honestly very surprising. I've never had a disagreement with the kid. We've never had a fight. Um, we bowl together multiple times a week. Um, and you know, just, just my parents. Um, my parents have been very, very supportive of me uh, throughout my life, uh, throughout bowling. Uh, my dad has progressively learned the game because he saw how much it meant to me. Um, but just honestly, those people are very special to me, but anybody that comes up and says, hey, what's up, how you doing? Um, Anytime I'm bowling well or bowling in a match or whatever, I, I hear the voices in the back that are cheering for me and I know who it is. So um, I just appreciate anybody that's in my corner that uh, for whatever time at one point or another is Team Mark. Uh, there's nothing that I can say that would be better, be better than that. And this has been Five Good Minutes with Mark Colinari Jr. Thank you.